Hi, I'm Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. So this is the last video in my three-part Virgie Tovar series. <laughs> I, hmm, I have very many opinions of her. I've stated them multiple times through the course of the two other videos that I've made on her. This video is uh, a little less serious. It's a little bit more fun. And it's basically my final thoughts on, on her as a person, pretty much, and on what she stands for. I don't think I'll be addressing her again unless she does something particularly egregious. Though I will be covering other fat activists, other uh, posts, topics, articles that I've seen, just stuff I want to talk about. I try and do one of these videos a week, but <laughs> let's see. Hi, I'm award-winning fat activist and professional feminist killjoy Virgie Tovar. Why did she need to say all that? Was was that a flex? Am I being flexed on? Is it still a flex if the other person doesn't know that they're being flexed on? I don't know. I don't have any money, so I, <laughs> I can't flex on people. Why did she need to describe herself like that? That came off sounding like so, like, be impressed by me. I mean, it's not like she'd be trying to give us this information right now so she can tell us a whole bunch of bullshit later and we'd have to believe her because she's, you know, an expert, right? Because that, that would be ridiculous. Hmm. Right? Right, it would be ridiculous? Right, it would be ridiculous. And I'm here today to talk to you about an epidemic that's affecting women everywhere. It's called CRFI. If you're like many women, you've been to a birthday party or a small office gathering, an event that's meant to bring people together. There's swinging tunes, some adult beverages, and good convo. And then it comes time to cut the cake and someone decides to ruin everything. <laughs> oh my God, that slice is huge. That slice is bigger than Beyonce's paycheck. Can you cut me half of half of that? A cake-related fat phobic incident, or CRFI, is that moment when it's time to eat delicious cake and it's interrupted by a moralizing impulse. What? Ma'am? Are you being serious right now? Because seriously, what? See, on the one hand, I'm really hoping that she is in fact just being like a ridiculous person and she doesn't actually believe everything that's coming out of her mouth. But then on the other hand, she did accuse a queer BIPOC woman of stealing her story of being at a pool party for plus size women. By the way, very cutely called the Chunky Dunk when there were a bunch of other women there who could have possibly told her and or she could have been in attendance. So it's not even like, this is the not a woman that clearly thinks very highly of others or thinks things true, through. So entirely possible that she's being completely honest here, which is a scarier thought. <laughs> she's a little bit self-serious, you know? I mean, I know this video comes off sounding cute and quirky and funny, but like, she comes across as someone who takes herself real seriously, which, man, the internet is not a good place for you. <laughs> Inevitably, there's always someone at the party who has to declare publicly that their slice is too large and that the person who's cutting the cake, almost invariably a woman, must do some disproportionate amount of labor in order to accommodate their need to feel superior. Ma'am, some of us have diabetes. Should I put myself into an insulin coma because you didn't want to be judged for having more cake than me in this economy? No, ma'am. Also, what moral superiority could a person possibly be displaying with that action? She's gonna tell me, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she's gonna tell me. This will be bad. Let's take a look. Can you do a little bit, just like, can you like scrape all the frosting off and cut it in half and give me two forks? Cause I'm sharing. Small, like a little bit more, like tiny, no, like less, less than what you're smaller, please. Could you just cut my piece into 12 equal symmetrical little pieces and put each one into a tiny little Tupperware so that I can have a bite for each month of 2018? Thanks. Smaller. Let's take a step back and view what's happening through a critical feminist lens. Oh, 
Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. I was not aware that the point of feminism was so that I, a woman, would be told what I can and cannot do by another woman, in this case, Virgie, who has no relationship to me, who has never met me or knows anything about me or my inner workings or thoughts, beliefs, anything of that kind, but simply because she feels judged. That's odd. Is this a new wave of feminism that no one told me about? CRFIs typically happen in environments where there are primarily or exclusively women. <laughs> okay, this cracks me up for multiple reasons. One, because earlier she stated that the person cutting the cake is almost predominantly, like, is almost always female, and then she's like, these sorts of events happen in predominantly female-dominated parties. So if there's like 50 women at a party, and there's like, uh, sorry, if there's 50 people at a party, and there's like one dude, and the rest are all like women, that's like a 98% chance that the person who's cutting the cake is going to be like a woman, right? Because there's just more of them, right? I think that's how probabilities work. So then why is she so mad that the person cutting the cake is a woman? Am I just an idiot? Have I, have I missed something here? Two, that looks like the cheapest, grossest cake that you would buy. It's like the kind that has the frosting that goes hard like four seconds after it's been exposed to air. And like it tastes like nothing but like cardboard and sugar. Uh, yeah, no wonder people are asking for less of that cake. That cake looks gross. Women are disproportionately negatively affected by diet culture because diet culture maps onto sexism. Okay, but I mean, um... Like, where, where, where is the, the proof for this? Is there, do we have proof? Anyone, do, do you know? Do you know, is there, is there proof? Are you guys aware? No, oh, right, right. Virgie is an award-winning author and activist. Right, that, that's why, that's why she doesn't need to present any proof because she has all those credentials, right? That's how proof works, right? Because if you have enough credentials, everything you say is true. Like many parts of diet culture, there is a significant performance component. You have to show others that you are being good. Controlling how much you eat is part of what it means to be a, quote, good woman. Or you just don't like store-bought cake. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. Sometimes it's not about whether you're a good woman or a bad woman. Sometimes it's just about whether or not you're a bougie bitch. And I am a bougie bitch. This kind of behavior is a way for people to keep other people in check through food moralizing, surveillance, and policing. I mean, you're the one peeping into a conversation that two completely unrelated women are having about a slice of cake. Projection? <laughs> we don't know her. Am I right, guys? These are the mechanisms that are at the core of diet culture and weight control. The idea that you can position yourself as superior to others through self-control and self-denial is super sexist. What, when, when did we switch topics? When did we start talking about sexism? I'm, I'm confused. I thought we were still talking about moralizing cake. How did we get here? Sexism means prejudice, stereotyping, or discrimination on the basis of sex, normally against women. How is projecting yourself as having superior self-control sexist? As far as I knew, men also had self-control, right? Like, there, there's fit men, right? You guys have seen them, right? It's not just me, I'm not hallucinating it. You guys have seen the fit men too? CRFIs have a history of creating a hierarchy among women and ultimately in maintaining misogynist expectations. It's like I understood all the words that she said in, in that sentence, but it's like once you put them together, all of a sudden, I'm like, how did we get here? It was like word teleportation. I'm so confused. And she's just throwing out like buzzwords left, right, and center. You know, just connect enough ideas together and people be like, yeah, this one, she knows what she's talking about. I'm just waiting for her to like bring Tide Pods into this somehow. And you know, because people are asking to cut smaller slices of cake, our youth are eating Tide Pods instead. I'm just waiting for it. It's gonna happen. Watch how this woman demonstrates a different way to engage with cake. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so, so just so I have this clear, asking for no cake is acceptable, but asking for less cake is not acceptable. 
So basically what she's saying is that as far as anybody's concerned, there's the correct way of interacting with cake and then there's the incorrect way of interacting with cake, right? Like a right and a wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. But I mean, it's not a moral judgment. I mean, just because if you say you want less cake and it may, that automatically makes you sexist, it doesn't mean that she's passing a moral judgment on your interaction with cakes because that would be wrong. Because she said earlier, do you remember when, when she said earlier that she's an expert and also that you shouldn't moralize other people eating cakes? She would never do that. So her saying that you saying that you want less cake is automatically something that makes you sexist is her not moralizing it. You, you guys are just, you guys are reading you you're reading way too much into this you just need to not think about it that much or, or at all don't think about it don't think of just believe her because she's the expert okay she won an award her book won an award practice just taking the cake slice you're given or simply saying no thanks don't make other people be your cake nanny because women already have too much on their plate with a sexist culture navigating underwhelming romantic options and an absurdly inexplicable pay gap. What? But that's why I asked for a smaller slice of cake so I would have less on my plate. Come on, Virgie, man, you gotta cut me a break. So remember, the next time that you're on the verge of committing a CRFI, be an ally to women rather than an accomplice to patriarchy. Because, after all, patriarchy doesn't give a fuck about you, girl. But I can't afford more insulin, okay? You know, because of that wage gap that you mentioned earlier but then did nothing else with. That's why I wanted less cake. Actually, it does. Patriarchy does care about me. It wants to disenfranchise me. And you can't disenfranchise something that you don't care about. So that was a whole last video. <laughs> I, I bet you guys were thinking this was going to be like one of those really well-researched videos where I come on here and I throw up articles and I'm like, ah, this is why this person is wrong. But you don't know. You don't know my life. But besides that, equally confusingly, is I don't understand why anybody listens to Virgie Tovar. <laughs> she, she's a ridiculous person and she's kind of toxic. So, you know, don't listen to her, please, about like anything. I don't think she's a good person. That's just me. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, you can give me a thumbs down. That's totally acceptable. I respect your opinion. Unlike Virgie Tovar, who doesn't respect your opinion because she wants you to do what she wants. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the notification bell on the way out if you want to know when I post. I've got all my social medias linked down below. I've got Twitter where I pop off and give you my opinions on things and also just updatey things. I've got Instagram that has all of my life and food related stuff. Mostly food now because I don't really have a life. And I've got Patreon. Think of Patreon as the tip jar for the internet. If you like the job that I'm doing, consider tossing in a few coins. You don't have to, please don't feel obligated, but if you would, I would seriously appreciate it. As always, I'm Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. Peace. It's my birthday and I can cry if I want to. No, but legitimately, when you guys are seeing this, it's my birthday, fun fact. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it from that, point of view when Maria Antoinette said let them eat cake she was in fact being a woke feminist icon <laughs>